Let's call this meeting to order at uh, 6.38. Sorry about the delay, everybody. Okay. Um, um, all right. So first thing we need to do is approve the minutes of December 12th, uh, 2022. Um, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Um, okay. Uh, any, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion about the minutes? All in favor of approving the minutes of December 12th? Aye. Great, it's all three of us, awesome. Um, okay, I just, I'm sorry, let me just get through and, okay. All right, let's go right into communications of which I have a whole bunch. Um, so would anybody else, does anybody have anything before I start? Because I know I talk a lot. Well, we went to the same uh, uh, buzz about invasive. I suppose you might uh, be on a, on a list to mention. Oh, God, I didn't even think about that. And that was a very interesting presentation. Yeah. Rachel got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your seat? Yeah, he, but he's going to, he's going to join us. And, uh, and for those who were not able to be there in person, it's on YouTube, obviously. So it's yeah, we worth went, checking out. Yeah, we went to a talk on invasives that was on the um, was by the pollinator pathway, put on by the pollinator pollinator pathway, and led by Megan Granado, um, our new um, sustainability. sustainability and resilience coordinator. Yeah, or manager. Yeah. So um, it was it, and it is on YouTube. Once again, Rachel's fixing things over here. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, anything else before I jump in? I'm going to talk about um, the concern that people had. They misunderstood our last meeting about we were talking about um, a. No, not right now. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to talk about that? Not right now. I'm, I'm just going to let you know what I heard, and that might hopefully Perfect. address some stuff. I'm hoping. Uh, first thing we need to do is I got from um, the library, the Groton Public Library is doing a sustainability and Earth Day Fair on Saturday, the 22nd of April, which is actually Earth Day. Um, between 11 and 4, they are looking for town um, committees that, that might be involved in that kind of work to come. There's a $10 registration fee. And they thought maybe we could talk about what the beautification committee does and possibly recruit some volunteers. Um, Date on that again? Uh, Saturday, April 22nd. Um, it's five hours. I don't want to be there for five hours. Just I'll be honest. Would anybody else be interested in doing that? We are not going to be doing a, a trash pickup that day. I can do that. Yeah, I can. But Tell me what you want me to say too. Oh, no, well, I, I need to no, have all right. I, have. Right now, I just want I just want um, yeah. volunteers just to make sure that we can do it. All right. Thank you very much, all three of you. I'll we will we'll do a nice we'll be a team, okay? Um, and I'll, we'll talk about it more. I just wanted to let I needed to let her know if we were going to do it or not. Um, after our last meeting, we were talking about. Um, a large grant possibility that came to all of us. And it was kind of one that was a little bit larger in scope. It was the Bloomberg grant. And, and Tabitha had mentioned that she uh, applied for one of those before after working on it for many years and it didn't get it. So it wasn't a, a short turnaround grant. However, she did reach out to me and uh, I'm hoping all of us know about Chelsea Groton Bank. They have a, the Chelsea Groton Foundation. Um, if you apply by, it's it's, they do grants here in the local area, anywhere from five hundred to five thousand um, dollars. Right now, they should be there, and the, they just revamped the uh, website, and they should be. It's if it either should be open or opening any day now for the first round. They do two rounds of grant um, upper, uh, applications. The first one is by apply by the 21st of April, and it's reviewed in May, or apply by the 15th of September, and it'll be reviewed 
in sure. October. That's okay. I'm okay. Bye. Yeah. Okay, and is that called the Bloomberg Grant or no? Oh, no, 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 no. Chelsea Groton. Chelsea, you, you go to Chelsea Groton um, uh, Bank dot com and look for Chelsea Groton Foundation. Okay, and it needs to be a five hundred one c three, but we are. I don't know. I've never understood that. Are we a five hundred one c three or are we just a non? Yeah, nonprofit. I'm. I'm we can clarify that, but all I know is we don't pay the taxes. Um, so we can clarify that. Um, so that is something yeah, I there wanted to form and the town will give you the form. You should keep the form. Okay. Me uh, the as as the okay. Because when you buy things and you wouldn't have to pay taxes on them. Like just right. that you buy plants at a store, yes. you shouldn't have to pay taxes on them. Right. Because you're a nonprofit purchase. Right, them. right. So what we've done in the we've established relationships, but um I, I need to I'll talk with Lisa Hilton about that, see what she can so we're banning somebody from the table. <laughs> no, 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 no. Speaking of Chelsea Groton Bank, doesn't the new um, building look fabulous? I mean, it looks I very think it, it's promising. It's going to look fabulous. Oh, it's I'm very sure. promising. Yeah. It looks really good. Um, I used to work at Chelsea Groton. It's a phenomenal organization, so I can say nothing but good things about them. The the only thing is it is we can't apply for grant list. We know what we're we need the grant money for. We need to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, then uh, I have gotten a lot of information from Tabitha Harkin. This is um, the we've been talking about and Sharon shared some information with this. Oh, you know what? Can you get can you get uh, Beth Obeck in there? It looks like she is she in or not. She's oh. asked to unmute. Oh, and Andrew. What? Jeez. Oh, goodness. OK, um, so so there was a planning and zoning grant for affordable housing that was received by the town of Groton. It's a competitive grant. I believe, once again, I hope I'm not saying this wrong, was it $8.3 million, something like that? Is that, anyways, I'm not gonna put you on the spot. It's the planning, and it was through planning and zoning. This is the quote I received. It will help fund some planned improvements. That, when I asked specifically about planned improvements other than affordable housing, it, it will, help fund some planned improvements along the street edge and at Sutton Park, no funds for extra beautification efforts. So this is through planning and zoning. So they are in charge of it. Would that include possibly this fencing that people are so excited about the, the mm. it's a, it's a type of, it serves two people. It serves obviously the people who live there and want some quiet from having the sound deadening and then it also you know is a, a barrier of I don't know anything I've talked with Greg should I talk I to with planning and Tabitha things? nobody knows anything about any fencing that I've who I've oh, talked the question is just is this planning and zoning grant would it include yeah. something like it would not they've already requested everything in their went before they sent the application and everything was put and on they have there. to go exactly and they have to go by it okay got it. gotcha okay so that's not yep. Um, and, um, yeah. It's However, twenty-five million. Eight point five. Oh, 8. 5. Gosh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Councilor Franco. Mm -hmm. um, However, in that same email, Tabitha sent to me was that Mary Jo Riley, who works at the Thrive Fifty Five Center, and I can give all of this later if you if you need more notes. Um, she's working on an age-friendly grant for street trees, benches, and public art. It's an AARP grant for improving outdoor spaces, and she's currently working on the application. I have the phone number. I called. I did not hear back from her today, but you can you can call the Thrive 55 and ask for Mary Jo Riley if you're interested in talk to her talking to her about that. I'm not sure if it's. I have no idea what what it encompasses, or if it's outside the Thrive 55 or within the Thrive 55. There's a lot going on in that area right there. Right, right. Um, and, and that's really the, not the area of concern. Right, but I don't know if if the, she might, I, once again, I didn't talk with her, so I don't know what area she's looking at. Are you asking me to talk to her? Would you like me to talk to her and just yeah, yes. find out what? Yeah, yeah, so I'm, so if, yes. You know who gives um, <laughs> town grants that you might try? It's uh, Walmart. Come on. Yep, they give 
Um, that's how we got uh, the snowmaker way back when. But they actually do have a program, or they did have a program where they gave money to towns for special projects. Uh huh. I think a lot of places do, but I'm, I, I don't, that's great. But I just know the one about Chelsea Grant. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was thinking now that we're saving money on the bridge, that Grant and Long Point Bridge, which mm -hmm. now no longer the town has to do, the right. state is going to do. I was right. hoping maybe there'd be some mm -hmm. extra money tucked away <laughs> and we could say, oh, we could use it for fencing or we can. You know? I've never heard of extra money tucked away. I know. Right. 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 So much um, to do. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is from communication, I did hear from. Um, but then she forwarded an email from once again from great Megan Granado, the sustainability and resilience manager about what different towns are doing with their NIPS money. So I think I forwarded that to everybody. Um, I will go and check. All right. Um, so that's what I have, I believe, for communications. Anything else? I'll yes. jump in. Yes. So I had talked to town manager Bert this past week and told them, I don't know if anybody else has spoken to the town attorney regarding the mural contract. Nope. nope. So I told him that the mural contract is um, very tough. To yep. the point where probably nobody will sign on to it. Yep. And, and the requirements are much too strenuous. Uh -huh. So I, I asked him if he would discuss this with the town attorney. Mm -hmm. And um, he said he would. And I also talked to him about, so there's the NIP money. Mm -hmm. And this past year, I got half of it sent to your 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 group. Uh -huh. And the other half is going to be used for storm drains, catching. Water. Okay. Catch you know, catching mm -hmm. things. Oh, oh, okay. And straining it so that the water goes through, but okay. the items don't. Yeah. And um, so you get half the money and I'm, it's, it's pretty substantial. Yes. So the presentation that I made at the council so you can get this money was for the fish uh -huh. and it literally had the picture of the right. fish mm -hmm. and it had about a uh, community um, cleanup yep. and adopt a road program yep. local. Yep. So that is what the town council passed to give it to you. Right. So I'd seen some questions maybe on, well, can we do this and can we do that and can we do that? But that's not what the town council gave you the money to do with it. Well, I have it. That's so, what I needed to speak with somebody about because we, it, as it turns out, we already have, we already have an adopt a, an, a, an adopt a um, road program in Groton. A state one or a local? Local one. Okay. So, so, which, which, and so I spoke with Greg Hanover about it. He has a brochure that, and he's, so like when you go down, um, actually the Groton Rotary, there's a sign there going mm -hmm. down Thomas Road. And then also there's one right near Avery Memorial and it says for Great Grace Baptist Church. And so sometimes those areas are not very clean. And so I was wondering like what's going on. And he said, they have it, they have, it's in place. It's just not very active. All right. And then and I just. And you would ask for someone to try to take that over from our committee. You would said, is there anyone in our committee that would be willing to do that adopt a road. Probably you were looking right at me when you said that. <laughs> oh, was I? Um, well, because I had said that I would right. take it on. Right, right. So I had talked to John yep. and I said, we need to come up with a program. I'm like, I don't want to recreate it from scratch. So he was talking about how probably finding a template, but if we have one already and you okay. found that note yep. information yep. out, yep. Yep. that that is something we could probably resurrect. I will, I will request it. In, unless you have already requested it. I, I have the, I have the, it's a, a brochure. All right. Very and nice if you brochure. have it, if yeah. you could forward it to me. Absolutely. Because my, like my thought process on how to get the businesses and organizations involved. Yeah. Is maybe different from what the old program was. You know what I mean? Right. Right. But it's, it's one of the things that came up about this was if people are having a really, if, if employers are having a really hard time employing people, how are they going to get them to go out there and clean up this? Yeah, but it's not just employees, it's organizations as well. It's it's okay. neighborhoods. It's okay. anybody who wants to come in together as a group. It could be yeah. the rotary. Like I mean the sign is up there. Yeah. But like there's probably signs up in our community, but doesn't mean the organization's still actively doing it and maybe nobody's talked to them about like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I have a, a, a something to add on to that is that 
Um, I've heard people say about the adopt a road program that they would do it, but there are no signs up that say no littering. We have no, I don't see any signs in town that say no littering, a fine, you know, if you litter. Yeah. And so people are saying, we're doing this, but we're not, at the same time, we're not educating the youngsters, the new drivers, the people who are pedestrians who are walking on our new sidewalks. We have more sidewalks. That's going to mean more litter possibly and more garbage cans. We don't have enough garbage cans and we don't have enough signs out that say no littering. All right, so we're, that, we're gonna talk about that under new business right now that, we're going to talk about that's under new business, okay? Because I don't want to get too scattered. But anyway, but, that's my communication. I did talk right. to the town manager about these things. I am trying to follow up. Yeah. I also saw in the forum the big conversation about, you know, litter in our community. Yep. So there is a big conversation right. about it. Right. There was a lot of complaining, but people were invited to come here tonight. Right. And they're not here. Right. So well, it, the, it, the other thing is uh, <laughs> the public works, because there hasn't been snow, has been out for a number of weeks and a number uh, uh, our public works employees are out there cleaning up trash. The, now, obviously, I heard good things Greg that Hanover has heard. said, we all know this is an ongoing thing. The thing that I want to do is something that's effective. I don't know if signs are effective. Missy sent me some great signs. Some were absolutely it's hilarious. 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 Like, basically, why do you do this? Because you're, and they give you, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Your so, mother, you know. But I don't know if that's effective. And honestly, I am not sure how effective um, town, uh, what am I trying to say? Organizational cleanups are. They're not, they haven't been effective right now, but they could potentially be effective in the future. Mm -hmm. So, and then also on this, at the uh, Argonne Town Committee meeting, I did speak with Joe Delacruz, and he said he was not going to be able to do the fish statue. It was too much time and too much money. He would be ha he was going to try to make one himself for us, but he couldn't commit his uh, employees to doing it. So I felt like so we have that money, but I still thought that I wasn't sure, but I thought that we were, might still have to vote to put whatever money's towards a certain thing that but we don't but we don't have all the information yet. Could we contract for them to do it? Or no, find another he, person to do it? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. But that I just spoke with him the other day. Because I'm not sure about how if the council mm -hmm. votes to give you that money with the stipulation of this mm -hmm. is what you're gonna do with right. it. If you don't do it, you have to give the money back. Uh huh. Right. And that's NIP money, so then it will be reallocated right. to some other cost. Right. So I guess that's what I'm I'm wondering is is if we have any flexibility. Would it have to look exactly like what you drew, oh, or would no, it have to be sort of like this is the gist of what you were doing? It was a sculpture type of right. awareness program, right. and this was something from the very you know beginning of the committee. Right. That right. Was so I guess we need to find out very first thing is because Bruce has some ideas because we were this was once again one of these things that's going on for a long time and uh not the 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 fish thing um the fish sculpture idea he thought maybe there's another idea and came up with another idea but I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself so yeah. let me just say on that there are other people that could do this other than Iron worker. Yeah, uh -huh. there's iron, that great down, iron work. Link, and there's, the kinds, did those, those, there's plenty of yeah. other fish. places, or you can even ask an artist to do it, and they could come up with their own sort of thing. Right. But it was sort of like that was the gist of. Right. You know, exactly. It doesn't have to look exactly yeah. like it. No, no. I figured there was a certain it. amount of um, artistic leeway. Um, once again, I'm trying to think of you. We wanted the money to come this way, but we didn't have a lot of time to think out exactly what the um, most effective way to use it might be. And it was interesting because they didn't really give us a lot of information. And now when I've looked into it, it's kind of like, it's not just trash, it's trash and um, plastic reduction and all that kind of thing. thing. So uh, the NIPS money can be used for a multitude of things. Right, right. But what the council said was for you for these things. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, no, I understand so that that's future, what the money was for. Right. So in the future, there'll be money coming in every six months for as long as you know. So you can ask for more money for other things as well if there was something else that you want to do. Okay. But but that's what I'm saying is I don't know that personally that I'm feeling that enthusiastic about these two things that we are thinking about doing. And then you can give the money back to the council then. But well, can I, but can't I reach out and say, hey, were there, how much 
leeway do we have here? Seeing, seeing that this program is already in place and now we need to enhance it and have outreach for it. And the other thing I asked about, somebody had suggested a, a bottle fill station. So, in other, so instead of people always taking their own plastic bottles, you know, like in the airport, doing a bottle fill station and Greg's look getting a price for me for that too. Um, so I didn't know though, if it's, if it's in stone. I don't think we should give up on the fish yet, the sculpture, we can find someone else. Well, well this, this, this comes to, we can find, but who's going to find? I am not going to find this. That's just, That's just we have five people on our committees, five plus two. You know, who is going to do this? Rachel is a town counselor and works full time. So for, for I don't do either of those things, but, but in, I, I don't know, Bruce has reached out as the artist amongst us with some, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, no, I, you know, nobody's more of a fan in sculpt, of sculpture than me. Uh, I'd love to have done that fish sculpture thing, but I, I just don't think it's going to happen. And obviously that's what Joe said. I think we ought to well, take some, uh, um, some of these barrels or, or uh, recyclable things and uh, put some art on them. That right. would be the so, easiest thing to do. And it would certainly get some art out into the community, which essentially has hardly any now. And it's a, you know, it's a doable thing. Uh, I don't think um, we should uh, hesitate. Well, the first thing we have to find out is if there's any wiggle room. If there's no wiggle room, then we have to find, it's, it's I think his name is Clint in Stonewake. Who does this? The um, so that's he does. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, he does. I mean, I think he's probably up there in price, but um, yep, yep, he, he is certainly and, capable of doing that. If you know, he's certainly capable of doing what are we talking about there? I'm sorry, yeah, you're talking Sometimes about the sculpture, yeah, yeah. sculpture. More than a sculpture, though, isn't it? It's, it's a, a trash receptacle. It's a trash receptacle. Yes. That's really right. yeah. Right. How many did you have in mind in terms of? Uh, I don't know how much they're going to cost. Yeah. Okay. So Even if there's only one. And it's so the big, commitment I mean. was to do a sculpture that could look like a fish, but we didn't know how many we were going to be able to. It all do. depends on how much it was going to cost. Right. I guess. Right. So I know him. I I'd be willing to take. With him, I need an idea, a picture, everything to take it to him to get a um, price. Yeah, you want, are we uh, Rachel's got that? a really good picture for an idea. Um, I'm not sure if I have that. That picture. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I've got it somewhere. I've got it somewhere. I just don't know how to. It's probably in your email. I've sent it out to. Yeah, I've sent it. Yeah, to the absolutely, website. absolutely. Yeah, go away. Okay, like, um, do an email search. Um. All right, I will, and I'll I'll do okay. one too. Because he also has students who work for him, and they're like learning how to do uh, soldering and things like that. And they, I don't know how many students he has this semester, but they're there coming to his shop and they're doing all kinds of projects. Maybe we can get one of them to take it on, and um, he could be. I mean, we have this. money. We have money to do this. How much? I need it's to know that too. Sixteen thousand dollars is the amount for the two programs. For this one particular, no. For this so one chunk, so right? So I, no, I thought it was. I thought that we. I thought we got six months. months. That was your first six months. Then you got another whatever, even more the next six months. You have thirty some thousand dollars. So oh, I didn't see that. 16, you have. I didn't about, see that. I didn't have. You have like 16, 15 or whatever sixteen to do the road cleanup stuff. And then you have another fifteen, sixteen to do the sculpture. Hi, can anybody hear me? I Hi, hate Andrew. to interrupt. I am so sorry to interrupt. Just quick things. I gotta, I'm done with my dinner break, so I gotta go back to work. I'm at work. Real quickly, three things. Um, I was at the last meeting. I got clicked in and out of the internet. So if you can mark me somewhat present, I came back on after the hour. The second thing is I sent an email out. I don't know if you received it a half hour ago, trying to focus on what exactly what you're doing at this meeting, it's a lot more focused and I appreciate that with the NIPS and Leanne's last comment and Missy about the signage and congratulations, Bruce, for getting your town hall thing 
passed for the council. Thank you, Rachel and the council for that. The other part is the Thursday meetings are gonna to be tough for me, but that's another issue. I won't bring all that up right now. The other, which I'm making a fourth thing now. The fourth thing is we can do cleanup fall, um, spring and fall. I'm just running this quickly. If we can apply some of that money to some town street adopt a road, we could probably do it, but we just have to organize it and then present it to Rachel and the council. So it's, so we're organized and then we can do it. And then Missy can work on the signage and I'll help with anything I can. Um, just let me know. I actually have to sign off now. I'm sorry, Thursdays are gonna be tough. Okay, right. everybody's doing a great right. job and everybody have a great, stay warm and happy ground. Yeah, stay warm, <laughs> stay warm. Yeah, okay. bye, bye. Later, guys. bye thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Right. So, um, 704. And so you have for your, the NIP money, it was, you get half of the first year revenue and the first year was well over. Oh, I thought it was only, dollars. I only thought it was the first half of the first half of the year. No, you get a okay. full year. Okay. All right. And you get half of that. Oh, money. okay. Well, so thank you. Have you. Well over 30,000. Okay. So even if a sculpture, I don't know, you can pay an artist to make a sculpture with that kind of money. I would yeah, think. Oh my goodness. I'm or not... even two or three. Two or three I is what I'm know. thinking. Yeah. Right. You have to find out how the cost of this is. Yeah. So I don't. And the purpose of this container, just so I understand it, is to pick up plastic mostly. To hold it and so you can see it. You can see it, the plastic. You can yeah. see through. You can and see through, through it. it. Like a mesh a sculpture. And it's also sort of like a an awareness program. Yes. Because fishery. Fish trash. Yeah. And who is the going to open? Is it open like the it plastics clean. are now inside the fish? You know the, what I mean? Like it's we a, can probably get public works yeah. to work with us. Public works, depending on where it is, either public works or um the town. Um, we just would like it to be in a rest. sort of a way that it can be emptied easily. Yeah. Yeah. So not like the beautiful we'll one, in. not even the beautiful, yeah. not like the beautiful statue they just put in front of. Um, in Boston? Um, no, the one that's in downtown Mystic now. <laughs> no, no, no. The one in downtown Mystic, that fish one that he just put up with the fork. That, yeah. That's it's not like that. That was, yeah. We're not looking it at is that. Yeah. And also that's a beautiful, that's not movable. This has, this a, has a purpose and yeah. it has uh, yes. an educational component to it. Absolutely. So, okay. And absolutely. Okay. So, so it's going to be well grounded. Oh, because it'll, it'll blow away. Yeah. Well, yeah. It'll blow away. The kids will take it and take it through town <laughs> on a ride. On the back so, of the truck. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And some, somebody can see the bottles and it's not a sign. Yeah. We're keeping, keeping this inside the, well, yeah. actually. Awesome. Did you send that to me? Or else can I send it to myself? What did you do? <laughs> All right. So we have a lot, lots of communications. Good. Um, I'm going to just quickly because we have we're going to uh, talk about these things again under I'm unfinished business. If you're done. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, someone uh, asked me uh, to tell me to tell them when uh, they could look at the mural in town that they heard so much about. And well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, did you think of asking um, if it's a problem of artists? Did you think of asking the IB students who have to do a project at the end of their year, and um, maybe that would be a source of artists? And uh, I said, well, well, I'll mention that at the meeting. See if uh, the opus is gone. <laughs> no, he's still there. If, just, yeah. uh, if Someone have to approach the IB student, student, IB students, or, or not. And but it could also be a good idea to approach them for a logo because we're also talking about uh, working on the logo for quite a while. So if it doesn't work for a mural, maybe it could work for a logo. Uh, anyway, so we've that's had plenty of uh, we've had plenty of logos submitted to the committee. Uh, I can't imagine we need more. Well, well, we need to identify ourselves yeah. somehow. Right. And that's another thing. If you're going to have signs for like a litter cleanup, you need a logo. Exactly. So, I think you said the beautification so committee. Honestly, that, that should be like one of your priorities to pick a logo. Honestly, like within the next meeting or two. Well, right. you know, everything needs branding. Yes. Yeah. And if you have a logo, it's easy yeah, to brand. Exactly everything you send out has yeah. that little thing in the corner. And I will say, and I, I liked them all. But Sharon had made a nice one, and it it's a it's a jump off of our town logo. Right. 
Right. You know, it has, yeah. it's a submarine. It looks like a fish it's swimming. Got little, little it's got flowers daisies. coming. Oh, yes, you know? I remember that. So, that was nice. Well, but we need to, I guess, vote on it. Or well, so what Sharon a, made a point that she didn't, you know, is that, could, can we use that? Actually, I meant to send, I'm, I asked the town manager, I showed it to him and he thought it was, he thought it was wonderful. Yeah, I remember it. It yeah. was nice with yeah. the flowers coming out where the yeah. water so I out think was. if you yeah. just send it to him and say, can we use this as our logo? Done deal. Okay. I, we, I need there. to, I need to send that out though, okay. because there were, some, there were other, there were some other ones, but I like that one too, yeah. because it, it went it along everything. with everything. Yeah. You know what you might do too is send it to Sam and EDC because he does all the. Sam. That's what I was just going to, I don't even know what's last He works for planning and zoning. No, he doesn't. Or no, um, EDC. He doesn't work for them. He works for the town on um, EDC. Okay. Sam does. He does everything that goes out on the web. Okay. I got to come over and punch you. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, what the heck was they saying now? It was a little he does everything that goes on out on the Groton web and the, the everything that goes out. So you might just run it to him, show it to him, Sharon's saying, and say, what do you think about this? Because he'll be putting it up for you. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Sharon. Okay. Well, I think it needs a little sprucing up, though. I think it needs more flowers and stuff, but it's a start. <laughs> right. 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 Okay. All right. Then if you had your signs like do not litter or or the, the funny ones, do not litter, right, the ones right. that I sent you. Right. All of those had on the bottom the certain yeah. St. Louis. Okay. Right. Right. Committee. right. So we would so, have our name there. The only thing I want to say about signs is what well, we can't have any more sign solution. If it can be added to a sign that's already there, that's okay. I Fine. don't want because we have way too well, that's many your signs. personal. Yes. Preference. That's not. We didn't vote on that. That's your personal. Preference. Well, we haven't but voted we, on anything yet, actually, yeah. have we? So, so you have um, hang up. Can I? <laughs> but, can I make a uh, just toss something into this conversation about signs? Have any of you paid attention to when you're coming 95 north and you go off into New London? They have a thing as you come off that holds the signs, and all the signs are up there together, and it's really neat. And so it it accomplishes what you're trying to do. You, the churches can put them up, the Rotary can put them up, the Elks can put them oh, up. I've, I've seen those like kind of almost like a frame and then yeah. it has everything on there. Yep. Yeah. And it, it might be a much easier way to get one up at e each entrance to our town and tell people that's where your sign goes. Instead well, of poking things like, the it's like on Thomas Road, this road's being taken care of by so and so. Oh, no, no, I meant for, for the bit. organizations, not for not for us. It's just a side note, yeah. That's yeah. Just saying That's, a side note, yeah. of coordinating all those. Because like the road, we can't get its sign moved That's what because Paige Bronk should be doing. We've got to go. Yeah, great. Right. Right. Who should be doing Paige Bronk? Well, yes. Who's that? I, but he's he's in charge of the economic development. Doesn't mean we can't work apartment. together. No, I agree. It. Absolutely. But I think I if like we, your idea. we come up, we've got money. We find a carpenter, get a price for what it would be to put one up with maybe 20 slots. I don't know. We'd have to try to figure out how many. And then it's it's absolutely in front of you. And you it's at a stoplight. So you kind of find yourself taking the time to sure. look at it and see what does this town have. Okay. All right. So can you, who would you talk to and would you be willing to talk and get a, get a price? Yep. I'll have to do everything by phone, but I'll be yeah. happy to do that. And I, what I'll do is if I can, before I go, I'll go over and take a picture of what New London has. Okay. Yeah. Don't get yeah. it to everybody. Don't get run over. What's, no, don't get run over. Don't let your stuff no, I'm going on picture. vacation. I'm staying yeah. healthy. No, yeah. I know. I know. It's so nice to have you here, by the way. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Um, all right. Well then, that's that's, that's a great yeah. idea. So so you can get back to us. It doesn't, you know, if if you call and if you or if you can take a picture and send everything. Everybody loves everything um, electronic, anyways, right? Oh. This is is uh, electronic. It's no, no, no. I mean, but like if you could send a picture. Oh yeah, send yeah, a picture. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. All right. Uh, excellent with the communications. Usually last month there was like nothing. Um. The treasures report. We have a balance of $7,497.35. Say it again. 
um, 7,497 and 35. Now that is not including NIPS money because NIPS money is very specific, okay? Um, of that, $2,865.46 is what received, we received in the town budget and needs to be spent before the end of the fiscal year. So let's just say by June 1st at the absolute latest. The civil party. Mm -hmm. ha, ha, that, no, I believe we'll probably be spending yeah, yeah. and and but the, the, the money, the forty six hundred dollars we have in the fundraising account, we can that that we can pull over. Yeah. yeah. What could we use to purchase? Let's say we're going to we're going to buy those those signs that are you haven't showed other people what those no, no, no. signs are. But uh -uh. if we were going to put something up about you know, littering uh -huh. and they're the cute ones or the funny ones yeah. that are kind of engaging, yeah. they're not punitive or, you know, yeah. they're just, they're signs that. Well, first thing we have to do is find out if how, if, if we have to use all of the NIPS money on, actually the first NIPS money really we'd have to use. And then after that, it would be, we wouldn't have to use it for the same program again, right? The first year, that's what it was allocated towards. Oh, the, the whole first year. Yes. Okay. All right. So that kind of thing would and be I the fought with another counselor to get you guys the money. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I went to, to battle for you. You battle every every time there's a meeting. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that right now. Um okay, so the, the SIPS money, <laughs> NIPS money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this you know, the NIPS money you know, can be yeah. used for well, we have to find out. I I'll need to find out if if especially if Oh geez, we've got this this uh, one program running, and we need this much extra. And since we don't need as much as we thought we needed, could we use it for signage or or extra? If we have money, we can it. use it for whatever. We no, you cannot use it for signage. For for it doesn't litter, fit into the signage. Litter, don't signage. litter signage. Okay, that might be yeah. one thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Is that yeah. part of it? Um, but the other thing is, I don't know how effective signs are. I think I'm wondering how, like. Well, Towns all over, cities all over the country are using these soft, lit no littering signs. And they're cute and they're catchy and right. they have. I, uh, once again, I don't know though, is this all litter or is this stuff that's flying out of, like when you pull something out and something falls out of your pocket? I see masks all over the place and I'm sure that they're in somebody's I, pocket. I picked up so and, many and so And many. then also, there's a lot of trash that comes out with the trash trucks as they're driving down the road. There's stuff falling out or out. I don't. I ha can't tell the last time I saw somebody throw something out. Now that means that obviously there are people throwing things out, but I think there's a lot of other way that trash happens. But where there's a sidewalk, there is litter. That's where the litter seems to accumulate. So I do see a pattern. But that's usually because it's the side of the road too, so it blows off of the roadway. So that's that's my question. I don't know. You may be correct. Is um is well, I'd like to take a vote at some point about whether. I'd like to see a picture of these examples yes. and then show yes. every the members the pictures of the examples. It's all around the country is happening. Right. Um, and then um, can you I know you've sent me pictures. Can you send those out to the members? Um, sure. I don't know if I have a whole stream of everyone's emails or something, but I'll yeah. okay, well, I can I can talk, we can talk to you about it because I uh, people need to see what we're talking about here. Um, they're clever, they're cute, and they're educational. So, so, so that's that's my question though. Is when we're talking about unfinished business, now we're on unfinished business to NIPS. Um, you know, are can we have any of these other ideas, which which might be effective in reducing trash, which is trash cans in more places. And a bottle fill station so that people refill their bottle instead of using more plastic. I'm going to tell you that another counselor fought for a trash downtown a trash can downtown mystic, mm -hmm. and they voted against. Like it. the big, the big belly the thing. One. Yeah, they crunched all that, yeah. and it was voted against. No, yeah, but I think Greg has said those are coming, right? But she wanted some of this used for that, uh -huh. and it was voted against. The NIPS money or the, the NIPS money? Yeah. So I'm just telling you, like, okay. this was a debate. Uh -huh. and I don't know. I'll talk after. I'll okay. be on I'll TV talk. and talk. I'll talk all right. About um, talk about after. And then, all right. So going on from that, which I guess we'll talk about after. And then the other one is the fence. 
and um, Missy's very interested. We talked, Missy and I and Aline, I think, went and looked at the area where the where they installed the new, new signs at Route 117 and Route 1. So we planted trees there, but the trees are going to take forever to grow in. And we really thought maybe even, um, and, and the, the property line is pretty close. So we looked at, maybe we could put a, just a piece of fence there to kind of frame that little garden and the sign. Um, so Greg said, this is Greg Hanover, who's the director of uh, planning and, and um, I mean, sorry, public works. He, so he said, if I, we were looking for like a 30 to 40 foot section, they may be able, public works may be able to install it, but they'd need the, so we would need, he would like a photo and an idea of what we are looking at. In, in, uh, net, but, and then we, so we would need, and, and the cost, because that's something that needs to go in, in front of us to see if we want to spend our money on putting a fence there. I vote for it. So can you do that? Um, I have one other thought though. Mm -hmm. Should we consider something like pencil eyelet, tall, skinny, thin things that grow up in one spot, do not spread out too far, and they are a good barrier also. So if we wanted to uh, put some of those back along the very back, straight so along. Remember when we went there and we looked, because that's what we talked about doing, right? So um, you, we all went there, we realized they'd have to be so close together in order to um, really screen mm -hmm. anything. And remember, there wasn't that much space because behind the sign and there was some space and then all of a sudden there was the property line. And I thought we had thought that a fence would even be better. And you said you'd been getting some ideas from for fences. The one thing that, that he said is it needs to be a commercial yeah. fence. Um, that I'm sorry, Bruce, did you want to uh, say something? No, go ahead. OK, so that but once again, if if I have no idea how much that costs, I said, oh, maybe we could buy a couple chunks from um, Home Depot. And he's like, no, you need oh, no, a no, commercial, no. commercial, commercial yeah, quality. Yeah. And I don't know, but I'm thinking you might be able to, I, I mean, we're not talking about hiring somebody to put a fence in. I'm thinking. But why not? Why can't we hire somebody who's a fence person? Um, because who is able we to have a fence that would not fall apart. It would be probably the plastic recycled fence that's you know that light green or brown well, well that's why we need a a a um a cost because do we we can't know how much we support it if we don't have the money or if it takes our entire budget really that's the beautifications committee's money is a fence behind the town sign i kind of wonder is you're making it beautiful yeah. the town doesn't need to they don't that's not what they're going to spend their money on all right so is the town willing to put this up or are we looking like call just for local company Luther Fence and saying what what, what can you give us? Well, or, you, you or, can do that, but I I no. If yeah. it's reasonable, the town could could possibly install it, but I'm not. Yeah. I I don't know that they're going to build it, or if we had. Yeah, maybe that's why I thought maybe if we could. Sometimes you can buy them in pieces. Sections. Sections. Thank you. Sections. What what fence? What's the name of the fence company? But I'm just gonna wait, 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 wait. Before you get going on this, if you bring in a commercial fence company, they're gonna go through the whole rigmarole through the town thing. You can't just do that. Yeah. They have to be licensed, insured. They have to do all the stuff with the purchasing department through the town to be able to put a fence on the property of town. I'm just warning you about that one. Okay. Yeah. Because sure that's they, a different situation. I'm sure they used to what they well, have to do. Yeah, but she she's giving it from experience. So I'm just so, telling you. Yeah. You we know could, how it is. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, they want the business. Sometimes there's things they want. Why can't we just do well, it? But also, if, 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 can't. if you can't, but also if we can get the, okay, we can, we're able to purchase this and then the purchase it for the town, the town installed it, that might be easier, possibly. And we had talked about it being kind of like in a, we want to draw that, that thing on the board that, you know, it's kind of like a, Moi? <laughs> it's just like a, we'll guide you. Um, so, Oh, Lord. Um, Straight in the back, obviously. Fine. 
post signed round, right? Don't worry about the sign, just the job well, of And we have just we have the property line and we have a bunch of trees over here, and we have the sign over here. Behind here is the neighbor's uh, backyard. Trampoline. Well, that's okay. Let's not charge anyone. So we're oh, but nice trampoline. there's um so we wanted to just make the this area more of a focal point because you're driving right down 117 and you're seeing it. So it, we've got all kinds of beautiful plantings here, but and so this would your focus would be on the fence and the and it would come to, down. They'll do those two yeah, sides. So we were thinking about the possibility right. of it also going to. So the question is, how many feet is that? And is it is it doable? And 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 you know, you, Greg can't say, oh sure, I can do that for you because he doesn't know until he knows the scope of the project. And also, we don't know if we have the money for that. So, but until we have all the facts, we can't really vote on if we have if we want to do that or not. So I know that you're very motivated and you have a lot of um, people who are very interested in this project. But if we can't do it, then then we're then it's it's going to be have to be somebody else or some or or possibly a um a grant or something like that so but but that's what i need is for and it's okay if you want to work with somebody who a neighbor who's interested that's okay it doesn't have to be a committee member or you know it can be someone who a, a interested citizen but we have limited funds I, I use, are you saying the money that we got from NIPS we couldn't use for the fence? Yeah, no. That has nothing to do with uh, trash cleanup, environmental cleanup, anything like that. Recycling, trash reduction. So um, anybody else have any unfinished business? No, at, at the, uh, for the fence, as long as we have some information of what the fence costs and uh, uh, then we can figure out if it's better to go for a grant or if, if we can afford it. Yeah. I mean, the fence, I mean, it, it looks to me like you're probably going to have four sections of fence. I don't know how much commercial fence costs, but like wood's expensive nowadays. Okay. So I would assume it's probably like at least 60 bucks at the minimum, a section at the About minimum. 100. Maybe because depending. I don't know how much commercial grade fencing is like that. So let's just say it's 500. Let's go really high ball. I mean, there's four sections. Two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Are you willing to spend two thousand dollars on a fence? I don't know. It's up to you guys because I won't vote on my one. Right. But I will. I just. I don't want to. I have something else to say, but I don't want to stop your topic. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. But I, I think it's important that that if this is important, we get the information so we know. And then if it turns out this is just absolutely outside of the budget, then there's other opportunities to look for it somewhere else. Would one of you gentlemen go down and measure that for us? That's the best, I think the best way to start. If you could go down and measure what you think would be reasonable behind the fence, and then if we had a wing coming out on them, either one of them, yeah. then we'd have the measurement. Yeah. And we can make some calls and find out. I can get my son to get his pricing for commercial fencing. That's uh -huh. not a problem. Mm -hmm. And I'll also ask him what it would be for him to put it up in uh -huh. case the town can't. can't do it. OK. All right. All right. Well, so. thank you. I would look at also, at least I'm going to look at, if, if I'm the one who's going to be doing it, is the plastic, the recycled stuff that looks like grains of wood. Uh -huh. And it okay. can be like a light green color that blends in with yeah, the Wouldn't green. that be nice if we could use recycled plastic for the yeah. fence? Because yeah. that would be great. That would be great. But um, once again, um, um, so when you're, you're talking about the budget part also, this is the time of the year, I think everybody, if you have your planting areas and you need to plan for your, like what you're going to do in the spring and if you need more plants and flowers, you should get organized on what you need so you can bring it in and then we can, you have to do a pricing and put in your request yeah. for what kind of money you need for your planting areas for the spring. So then you could have more of a bigger picture of 
what is everybody's needs on top of the fencing, you know, with the fencing and right, right, right. a bigger yeah. picture yeah. of what you're yeah. looking at for yes, absolutely. Budget, what our plan is, budgeted. what we're really trying to do. Yeah. 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 What do we have on our plan for um, coming up? We've got those islands that are coming well, down. There's from the um, high school, the, the top of the hill there. So I've got um, areas that have been adopted. Um, the the Water Street Public Bathroom, Top of Fort Hill, Town Hall Annex, Groton PD, Sutton Park. What is the name of the neighborhood? It's Indian Field. Indian Field. Indian Field and uh, Long Hill Road, which Avery Memorial, which we really haven't been um, um, doing much. And then also the sign at Route 1 and Route 117. And that's why I hadn't you know, when people say, oh, we need to do this, that, and the other thing, I haven't added anything else because we haven't yet filled out who's doing what here. Most of it's filled out, but I don't have anybody for the town hall annex who's going to buy plants and take care of that area. And um, the sign at Route 1 and Route 117. Oh, that's what I forgot about communications. I did speak with the um, president or the chairman of the Groton um I mean, the New London Beautification Committee, and she, all they do is garden. That's all they do. They just do gardens, and they have 24 gardens and 21 members. They all do their own gardens. They pick their plants. Their budget is $2,500, and that does not include the, the planters in New London, the hanging planters, um, and it doesn't include the watering, which they contract out. So, you know what, I'm realizing you said you needed to go, Bruce, right? That was. Yeah, I've got a uh, musical thing I'm going to be playing right. shortly. So. Right. So, do you want to um, give us any information on the on the grant that you received or that? that uh, the, yeah. That, uh, uh, yeah. Not really thanks, huge, but. thanks, Rachel, for, you know, trying to put a bigger number on the murals. You know, that's still a minuscule number for what we want, but you're going to talk to the uh, town attorney eventually through Bert about yeah. that contract. Yeah, because yeah. we're, yeah. we're dead in the water with with that deal. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But, you know, we can we we certainly haven't gotten anywhere in a long time, so it doesn't make that much difference now. We can wait a little longer. The uh, the thing I have a question on is we got we've got ten thousand dollars to do something with the town hall. Now, I put that together with Steve Woods. Remember the guy that was here initially the, that gave us wait, some wait. information? That's 10,000 to do something with the town hall for what? Landscaping. For landscaping. That's where, the, that's where that whole thing came from. When, we got, when I got the numbers and I put the numbers together, that's where they came from. They came from Pete Woods. It's $10,000. Pete, Pete Woods. Pete Woods, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So when I get back in April, I suppose I'm probably going to have to go through, or the beautification committee is probably going to have to go through um, the the purchasing office, I assume, and we're going to have to maybe bid that out. I mean, I'm not clear on how that would work, but I assume that's probably how we're going to do it. But um, wasn't the original plan, though, quite a bit bigger than that? Oh, Yeah. It okay. was almost twice as big as that. But, you know, the problem with that whole landscaping at the town hall was there's no water there. So. Yeah, there uh, is. There's water there. No, yes, there is. There's yeah, not, yeah, there is. <laughs> don't argue with the plants yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Don't, don't, don't answer. Don't argue with the plant people. <laughs> I've used it. Yeah. So, so talking, don't worry about that. About, don't worry about are you like, talking about, is he talking about are you talking about, wait a minute, listen to me, I have to, I have to clear some, clear something up. The $10,000 you got from the ARPA money. Yeah. That Andre Bumgardner brought forward at 7,500. Is that correct? Is that, mm, did you guys watch I don't the remember meeting? how it, I don't, I did not see it actually happen. I just saw the you minutes got, that 10,000 was approved. It, but it was, 10,000 was approved for a mural. No, that's not. The no, same it was. Yes, the same it one. was. There not was the same another again. one. I got. Okay. There was another so, one. There were two of them. Okay. I heard it's a seven-hour meeting, right? We yeah, we got out at one eleven a.m. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when, sorry. Anyway, when I get back, I'll I'll be happy to. We'll go through that whole thing because you guys 
uh, know a lot more about these plants than, than I do. And uh, even though uh, St uh, Pete had some really great ideas and it will look beautiful when it's all done, even if it's scaled back, yep. um, it's still a process that has to be accomplished, yeah. Absolutely, that's phenomenal though. Yeah, no, that's it's the, you know, it's the focal point of the town. It's, that's right. why we want it done, yeah. Okay, so. awesome. Awesome. So anyway, uh, that's hopefully that'll happen uh, in the spring because there's no sense in doing anything until the spring anyway. Correct. Yeah. Correct. What's the location of that mural? Oh, we, the mural we don't know what's about the mural yet. We he we have the they were uh, he the grant came through at ten thousand dollars, but it still we're got to get some more traction on it, right? We, yeah, we we need the agreement that that initially I sent them which is perfectly fine. It's been working down here in Deland for 20 years. Everybody loves it, fits everybody's purpose. So- And tell us how many pages that is, um, Bruce. It's like, it's only like three or four pages. And the <laughs> other one is like 15 and it, yeah, it's just an pages. onerous agreement. So <laughs> and we'll deal with that later. Okay. And Rachel would right. be very uh, glad that she's on that. Yeah. Okay, right. I'll see you guys all later. Right. Go do your music. Bye. 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 Nice to so see just, you all. Bye bye. Nice to see you too. Just a you know, if, um, When you go over the bridge from Pawkatuck into Wesley, on the right hand side, they have a mural on the building. I believe that's where it is. And it's so neat. It's just an Indian in a canoe with the name of what it was originally. Yeah, that's nice. And it, it would be so perfect for that building down in Fort Hill. That would be lovely there. You know, it's just a, a, the first introduction to the history. As you know, Pequannock actually means something like summer growing, because that's where the Indians went to, to, oh, corn to grow corn and, and fish to put everything away for the winter. I don't know how you get all that out of one word, but, you <laughs> <laughs> but I I saw it and I said, oh, my God, that is just perfect. It's not that difficult. It's simple. Yeah. And it would just be phenomenal. It would be nice there. That would be lovely. And also, there's a couple of businesses down there that need a little help. Oh, yeah, there is a little TLC. Yeah. And if there's they some nice some... walls down there, actually. What's that? There's some nice areas. Yeah. But if and they had... Something where people were going to go and see it, then they'll get an ice cream, they'll get a grinder, they'll get a bottle of beer, whatever. You know, <laughs> they have those educational things out built in. What are they? They're little cute codes. The QRC, the yeah, QRC. yeah. Aline knows so a lot could, about that. Oh, you do? Wouldn't that be perfect to have like an Indian and the QRC code and then have a discussion about what that area was a long time ago? Or, That's what these yeah. codes are for. So yeah. Yeah. More yeah. yeah, QRC the kids code. Would so just... if you have a chance, go over to Wesley and take mm -hmm. a look at it. Sure. I'm going away. I'm going away. <laughs> You're going away, <laughs> people. <laughs> well, right. It depends on the weather. I don't. I think it'll be Sunday, but I'm not going out Saturday. It's going to be too damn cold. <laughs> I I met with happened to be talking with Susan Austin, and she said uh, that she's very interested in working with the beautification committee. She said she can put me in contact with teachers up at the high school for the suggestion of the, the back. She says we might not be able to do it all at once, but she is very excited uh -huh. to get the students involved with the town. Now, I don't know if other people might have had different experience, but she says, call my office. I can, she said, if you guys come up with ideas, I'm willing to point you at the right person. And if, if you say, like, I went with my name, they will. That'd be worth a conversation with them. I think we need a couple more people on our, our committee. I, I mentioned this to um, uh, Lisa, and she's just brought up, or, or, or um, Betsy, one of them said, the more people you have, the more people you have to, you need present to have a quorum. So that's like a drawback. But I don't know how we can get all this stuff done. Right. You don't need them on your committee. You just need more people in the right. room right. helping. Right. right. Could right. we have a call, like like in the newspaper, like you know, say there's a beautification committee and we're looking for members. We need people to actually do physical work, dig. We need planners. We yeah. have just oh. a call out in the paper. Okay. Can we? 
You can put it in the Groton Times for free. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also, I think one of the best ways to get advertisement. <laughs> I'll tell you after. Yeah, Sharon? I think one of the best ways to get advertisement, if we had t-shirts with Groton Beautification Committee on the back, so when we're working out there, people can see that there is a Groton Beautification Committee and, you know, whether it says Scranton Beautification Committee, do you want to help or something on it, but have t-shirts that identify who we are. So when we're out there, people know we exist. Yeah, I, I agree. I, that's funny that I, I agree. You think a vest or a t-shirt? Well, I just, it, it, it needs to be brightly to colored, color. you know, that it doesn't have you, to be anything fancy, just something that says yeah. Groton Beautification Committee so that it yeah. identifies who you are when you're up at Fort Hill or down on yeah. 17 or whatever. Yeah. That's actually a perfect segue into new business because I was not, I didn't write this down on the agenda, but I did have a, a, a member, a, a resident say that they were really very interested in trash pickup. And I thought the, there was a lot of effort made to try to do an occasional trash pickup. We didn't get a lot of people. So I thought maybe we should try a monthly trash pickup and you meet uh, uh, in at, town hall and whoever meets <laughs> goes along route you know route one or up 117 or whatever place we designate we meet and uh somebody could put it on the Groton town forum and and rachel's very good about putting things on our facebook and then if it's one person or two people it's okay because there hasn't been a huge amount of effort and anybody who wants to help pick up trash and that would it's like if you want it come pick up if you want to get things cleaner then come and join us and it would be for an hour or two once a month versus trying to do it twice a year and make this get out the signs and all this kind of stuff i think it would I, i'm thinking it might be easier and i was hoping that that someone would come from the community who might want to you know take charge of that but um and i was thinking wouldn't it be wonderful if we had t-shirts on because I have noticed um, people commenting on other uh, places, other social media sites. I saw this person picking up trash and thank you so much and et cetera, et cetera. And I thought, wouldn't that be nice? And then they could say, oh, this is where we go if we wanna help out. Um, but uh, I, I don't know if people will show up and I mean, I not, nothing, it's nothing right. ventured, nothing gained, right? Yeah. Start maybe depending on the weather. Start in April and say we're gonna we're gonna be doing this regularly over the good weather. And yeah. if one date doesn't work for if you know put out a calendar yeah. of it. Yeah. One date doesn't work. Come on to the next one. Yeah. But right. We always we should probably find. We have to bring the rubbish back to the senior center, right? Um. Well, you know, I was thinking if. There, if if we got permission, there's a huge those huge trash bins at the back of uh, the town hall, and as long as we had permission to put they stuff in there, took the did they take those away? Oh, okay. They're gonna kind of clean it too. Okay. Well, so we'd have I think we'd have them because we'd have people to, were putting furniture and oh stuff. okay all right well we I'm sure that the town would let us put them somewhere and they would come pick them up. They've been very good. Yes, Rachel. I have got to tell you this. At the ARPA funding, I'm telling you that the $10,000 was for a mural. It's not for the town hall. I'm okay. telling you, it was, you got awarded $10,000. There was only one award to the beautification committee and it was for a mural. If it got put on there, you had like four different things on there. Uh -huh. I'm telling you it went for a mural. It did not go for plants at the, well, at the town the, hall. I watched the, the meeting and I uh, put down what the amount was for each um, application and number 65 got 10 grants the application it might have i'm telling you the discussion though the intent might have been whatever he might have picked the wrong number i mean it was probably almost one o'clock in the morning but he said i will give you like i because I, I brought up things and they, they got voted down bumgarner brought up seventy five hundred dollars for a mural and i said $7,500 won't cover a mural. Mm -hmm. And he says, I will give you 10, how about 10,000? How about we make it 10,000? I mm -hmm. said, I'll take what I can get. Uh -huh. And but then we passed it. It was for a mural. So I'm going to go back and watch the video 
but the discussion itself, because I interacted with right. it to get the mm -hmm. 10,000. Right. The 10,000 was uh, for the mural is number 41, application number 41. And the other application number and 41 50, got nothing. No, no, 41 got um, the ask was 75,000 given 10,000. 41, I have the spreadsheet right here from the town manager, and 41. Didn't get so made a mistake. So that has to be. We have to figure this out. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, there was sixty thousand requested for number forty-one. I have zero put in there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That would be great. That would be great. If you, if you could send me an email and I'll send it out. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. I would. I would. I also have to get this cleared up by Tuesday's yes. meeting because I have to make a correction. Okay. 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 And I'm not watching that whole meeting again. <laughs> no. It took me three times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I quit about halfway through. You guys are still arguing. Yeah. And I said, oh, I can't three watch. Three hours anymore. of arguing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the tough. I, I was present. The people uh, had two on there. That's why I remember that. But I'll check with Kevin and those yeah. Okay. So is there a subcommittee, a mural committee besides Bruce? And do we need more members? That's my next question of the mural committee. That well, that's the art people. section. Yeah. That's can the art. Use more people. Yeah. We we definitely need I, I would think it would be yeah, also people nice. People. It would be yeah, also very nice. It would be very nice to have somebody who is currently doing something with murals right now because it's been challenging. Okay, yes, so and New London people, we have Grant Long Point people. Right. right. I just so, can't do it all. Someone's got to make some phone calls or say, yes, let's do well, it at least. You know, let's that, decide. But that's why we we might need another person who's interested in. You know in, who you in, might want to call uh, and talk to? Is Lisa Kanicki. She? She's the head of the chamber over in Westley. Oh, yes. And she's delightful. Not Stonington, because that gal is on fire, the one who's in Stonington. She's yeah. so good. And you, Miss Lisa Kanicki? Yeah. And you can reach her over at the chamber, because she did the murals in Westley. And she'll also give us a copy, I'm sure, of their agreement, so we can have a, uh, have it to look at. Yeah. But she's very helpful, and she could probably... Chamber of Commerce? Yeah. Does anybody want to do that? Anyone do that? I've got like 10 things to do after this right. meeting. Well, we need we need somebody else who's going to work on the 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 murals where we so we can get some traction. And well, it yeah, needs I to... could make the call for you, but I can't go and meet with her. No, no, and, you don't need to. And for yeah. you, you probably better if you make it so you can put it into your calendar yeah. so it works. All right. Well, but if you have any problem, just call me. Okay. Lisa Kanicki, Westerly Chamber of Commerce. Yep. Um, all right. I, I wanted to bring up last month we taught or in February, we talked about the veterans celebration banner. Um, Jennifer got me some information. She was the one who brought it to the fore. Um, I was under the impression that she was going to run with it. Um, she's not able to do that. She sent me all the information and I, I ran it by someone at the town. They didn't really think it fit with beautification, but that wasn't like, don't do it. It was like, huh? Um, I, I don't know if anybody wants to try to run with that. We were talking about if anybody who wasn't here, it's a it there's a program, you get the a veteran's name, um, the picture when they serve for a hundred dollars, they buy a banner and the banners are put up somewhere in town. Um, maybe it's the city of Groton, maybe it's the town of Groton. We don't have any of that info, any of that figured out. We have a lot of information i would take that information call jimmy streeter and ask him if he would do something with it i don't think it's a committee's job but jimmy street is i worked with him to get the monument straightened out down in front of the senior center uh-huh you know where where it is you do all the gardening down there yes yeah. Yeah. okay I, I, I i'm sure he might avail himself for doing okay. that but i don't really think that's beautification that, that's what somebody said to me, but I, I, you know, yeah. it, and but the, the other thing is, it's like if we, if if there isn't someone to take it on, then we are we can't move forward with it. But I think that okay. uh, I can call him. Not really. Yeah, yeah. he's really good. He could. Or uh, when I come back, if uh, I'll take it down to the sub vet, so you know wherever. Uh -huh. But I think Jimmy would probably help with it. Okay. All right. Or he'd have the he or he'd have the connections. Yeah. 
or he could tell you somebody. All right. So we've had we've talked about a lot of stuff here. Um, uh, is there anything else? Because I will just uh, that. Well, our next meeting is in March, and I am going to be out of the state. Can anybody run the meeting on Thursday, March second at six thirty here? If I was going to be here, I'd be happy to do it for you. But yeah, and in Honolulu, I'm taking a long vacation. <laughs> It's going to be in Honolulu. I think we better than Florida. <laughs> awesome. Hi, you're really oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to bring, that, bring us back some tropical plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place. I lived there for a while. Um, Magnificent. Was to Tabitha run at runtime, or did or did you run it and Tabitha took the minutes? I don't know. But Tabitha will be here for March. I would recommend someone on the committee. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Well, I I could help, but I'm not going to do the uh, setup because I see what well, when you struggle. <laughs> okay. So so yeah. So usually, um, since they realize how how um, challenged I am, as somebody is here, and thank goodness. That that happened again. So um, so so you'd be willing to run it. I would give you. Well, we could talk about the agenda. I would get the minutes done, and then maybe Tabas would take the minutes. Okay. All right. So it is at six thirty here. Um, now the other thing is, I won't be here. You won't be here. Um, I'm just going to do Zoom. I'm you gonna... you are going to do Zoom? That still counts. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Because we need at least three people for a quorum. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> um. Aline... My partner's not too happy about the fact that I'm going to be doing all the meetings, but. Uh huh. Well, I am trying. This is seven forty nine. I really wanted to try to keep it to an hour, but I knew we had a lot to talk about. All right. Does um is everybody okay with it? One other thing, yeah. if, if you if you want, I'll call John Grossman up at the Votech. Uh huh. You know they have a welding shop up there. Yeah, well, that's good. And idea. they might take on the project of doing your fish. Mm -hmm. So I'll call right. and see if I can get the guy that's the head of that department uh -huh. and talk with him and see if he would consider doing it. Oh, I already sent you a picture. Wow. Of him. Okay. Right. She knew you were going to say that. Right. <laughs> I just know Leanne. There's a million people. That's the thing, um, I don't know anybody, but I would expect, well, I'll make some calls. Uh, we lost our carpentry shop. They put it up in Norwich. Uh -huh. But they're still supposed to be doing things for down here uh -huh. if, if people need it. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking we could ask them if they could build us something to put the signs on. So oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The, the only thing with them, you have to be patient because everything that they're going to teach, they have to do, they have to develop a curriculum uh -huh. for it. So oh, they really? can't just say, oh, yeah, I'll do it now. Uh -huh. They got to do the whole thing because it has to be classroom as well as hands on when they're okay. doing something. Okay. So, but I'll, I'll make those calls. Well, we don't, we haven't, we don't have it right now. So any time would be good, right? Well, I'll see what I can do. Okay, John thank you, Leanne. Do. Let let us um, you use your email skills and send a, send us any information or follow up that we need to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I wonder You're where... right. It's ten for both of them. But they have. I'm sorry. They have the town hall landscaping as number sixty five. <laughs> I was like. Okay. My other. All right. I'm just saying. Does anything any. So are we are we set to adjourn? Sharon, do you have Sharon? I'm I'm gonna I really we all really like your logo. So if you want, do you want to fuss with it anymore? Well, no, I'd rather if everybody approves it, then I would. But other, you know, I don't want to do anything until we know that's what you're going to vote on to use. Does that make sense? Uh, <laughs> you know what? This week, I, how about when I send it to the town manager and say, can we get the approval to go with something very similar to this? Yeah. So oh, maybe with a few tweaks tweak yeah. and that we don't need copyright and all that other stuff and that we're good. Will yeah, you, I'll be happy okay? to do, yeah. 
And then okay. you, while I'm doing that, you can tweak and do whatever you'd like to do. Okay. Yeah. Because sure, Sharon specifically brought up that this, whether that would be stepping on somebody's toes. So it was kind of our logo. No, it's just a spinoff of our logo. And I love it. I um, love, I love what yeah. she did to it. Yeah. Really good. I really love good. it. I like it together. Yeah. Well, if anybody okay. has any other ideas they'd like on it, just, you know, send me an email and I'll try to incorporate it. Okay. Thank you so much, Sharon. Really. Okay. See, look at you doing stuff all the way from Florida. Yeah, I'm gardening. <laughs> I'm not. I'm indoor gardening. I'm indoor gardening. I just got a couple of gorgeous tropical plants, but yeah, I couldn't hear you. What were you saying? You were say, trying to say something. I couldn't hear you. I would it fit on a short work shirt. Make it so it would so we could automatically put that on the back of the, the work shirts. Yeah, so. no, yeah. It would, it would be it would be the logo idea. for signs, shirts, everything. Yeah, Maybe we should get the the bright yellow vest and put the thing a, a put vest it on there. Is easier to a accommodate for different, different signs. Yeah, a vest. Yeah. That you put over your t shirts. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's we're, easier to fit. We're not thinking about that. Yeah. If, if you're okay. wearing like, something else, yeah, yeah. yeah. have a t shirt. Might be more. Again, if if we get to 30, 40 members. Yeah, it would be wearing a shirt over versus wearing. Yeah, I agree. It should go on the safety vest, but I think if we also get the committee out, us. Uh, yeah, one yeah. day a week wearing even a shirt. vest like you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. Something but like it's, that. it's like when we Not like exactly. when we've been out. Yeah, uh, when we've been out working on things, planting gardens and yeah. stuff. Yeah, we're we're just in whatever gross clothes we have. Yeah. 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 But like the best, like would. you're both wearing one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, like keep, keep that should be our thing. Yeah. yeah. That that is attractive. Yeah, blue. Uh, every color requires that I wear one of those re reflection vests when I'm working. Well, when you're cleaning up like litter and stuff. No, when I'm gardening. Oh, when you're gardening. On town property, I have uh, to wear one. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you are supposed to you do when you get litter cleanup. Oh, if you're so tiny, they sure. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want Shirley to get run over. All right. We have, now we're going to, we have time to chip chat, but right now at 754, um, would anybody like to make a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. It's been, it's been not real, first huh? it but it's um, been moved and seconded. Can you send me the measurements when you get? Is them? it all? Is, does everybody agree? Do yeah. we are we? Go, everybody yeah. say aye. 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 All right. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see. I picked up somebody's pen. I think. I have a question. I put it back together for you. Do you remember we went to uh, Groton um, to and the meeting? Yes, um, please. We, the three of us, I think we went up to Grant Utility. Bye, Sharon. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Sharon. Stay warm. Oh, thank you. We're going to try hard. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. I was going to.